Grand Rising Bag family. On my way out here to the Dragon Fruit. Uh, they're getting so big that uh, we're being forced by pleasure to uh, take them to the next stage. And what we're going to do, see these uh, blue barrels? I'm going to cut. If you can see that little last tear down here, I'm going to cut them four barrels. I'm going to cut them right here, similar to what we did with the dragon fruit, excuse me, the uh, avocado pears. Uh, we're going to cut four barrels, four or five barrels, and uh, place our dragon fruit in those. Hey, Hershey, you okay, boy? Keep on guarding the land. Yep. Today, our workers didn't show up today. We know yesterday was a holiday, so we're not sure if it's an extended holiday or what. But uh, during rainy season, if they see that it rains before the shift, uh, that's a good indication not to come to work because uh, we don't have facilities for them to get out of the rain other than VIP. We didn't get the uh, container out here that we was going to modify uh for them to have a place to go in and eat and be out the shelter so anyway uh this is the bad boy that excites us right here and this one right here is a v so what i'm gonna do uh, is mark the heck out of this one i'm gonna mark them all so when we get a container, we'll know, hey, this is exactly what it is. And look at this one. This one got a little, where's my finger at? This one got a little node coming out and stuff. So anyway, that's always exciting and stuff. Again, we want to thank the brother for uh, sending us these dragon fruits through the mail. And uh, uh, you, you, you started us off onto something and stuff. So... Anyway, I brought my marker out here, and uh, let me commence to marking these up and stuff. So we can do what it do. So again, this one right here is a, where is it? This is a V. So, come on marker. V E. V E. V. Should have checked the marker before I left, but I didn't. But uh, anyway, it's good enough. You know what I'm saying? So let me go ahead and mark this up and I'll be right back. All right, guys, you know, my marker kind of went out on me, so I wasn't able to mark them all. But this right here is a VE. Don't know what this one is, but look how long it is. I'm going to pull that one off definitely and uh, put that in a separate bucket by itself, along with this VE right here. This has a lot of long ones and stuff, you know. And I'm so excited that uh, we were successful enough to grow it bigger than the uh, cutting that was sent to us. And I don't know what this is. I don't, I'm going to have to go and go through a process of elimination and stuff. I see that it got a little, where is it at now? It has a little hook right here feature. So I got to go back and watch the old video that we put up of this and see which variety this is and this one over here is the purple node got a, a big one right there going and this one right there too so i'm gonna definitely put those in some buckets by their self and stuff so let me head back to the house and um figure out what this variety is right here 
not sure if I'm going to cut them. I think I'm going to uh, prepare the buckets first and then do the rooting uh, uh, technique again, technique, technique again, and then put these in. So when we finally get the blue buckets finished, we'll be able to uh, go ahead and go straight into its permanent uh, location. So that's what's going on today, guys. Provide you a little bit more update later on as we go. Bye. I had to make numerous trips back and forth from the house to here. Now I finally got a good marker and stuff and I've identified all the um, dragon fruits that we had on that we have on hand. We uh, thought the Isis had died on us with the yellow flush, but it didn't. The one that died on us was the uh, dark star. So if anybody want to send us a dark star cutting and stuff, we appreciate it and stuff. The more varieties we grow, hey, the more prosperous. So anyway, uh, in this first bucket, as you can see, V is the first one. And look how long this one is. Got to be at least an arm's length and stuff. That is the VE, the V. And then the next longest one uh, in comparison to the V is the Isis. This one has the yellow flesh. This is the one we thought had died, but I identified it by that little hook. There's a little hook right there, right here. This is how I identified it, right there. I took that little hook, went back to the previous video, and that's what it is. Lo and behold, Isis and stuff. And the writing has went away down there on the bottom a little bit, but I think I wrote it in again. Isis, yeah, I think I did. I wrote it in again. So anyway, the next variety is Axe. Got some good size on it too. And again, we're gonna cut these big uh, uh, cuttings right here. We're gonna cut them and and uh, reroot them in another bucket and stuff. You know what I'm saying? And the last variety right here is the purple node. It's purple node, if I'm pronouncing it right. So that's what's, what we got going on uh, with the dragon fruit guys. And uh, we're excited about this and uh, Hopefully we can get some dragon fruit out of this within the next two to three years. That's what the goal is. It'll be numerous uh, more plants besides this. Cause again, we're gonna cut them and reroot them. And then it's gonna just keep, the process is gonna keep going and going and going and going and stuff and stuff. So uh, hopefully uh, you guys can see us uh, eating some dragon fruit real soon from our cuttings and stuff, all right? Talk to you guys soon. Black Acres of the Gambia, from the Smiling Coast to West Africa, out. It's getting, it's so